Oh, Hubert Jackalman. Oh, Hubert Jackalman. Reminiscence. This will be my review. It will be negative. I did not enjoy this film. I'm just going to say it straight up. So if you're looking for a positive review, I'm afraid you're not going to get it here. But this is transparency. For a movie about memories, this film is not very memorable. This is the directorial debut, and also this is also written, FYI, uh, by Lisa Joy. And oh boy, this was not a joy to watch. Uh, the cinematography is by Paul Cameron, and obviously does star Hubert Jack Hugh Jackman. Uh, Rebecca Ferguson, we got uh, Tandy Newton as well. Uh, and, and basically that's it. There, there's, everyone else is a bit surplus. Those are our core three individuals to sort of explore. Uh, the film is neo-noir. It's very firmly like trying to be a detective story. There's even Hubert Jackalman's... I'm, I'm going to stop now. There's even Hugh Jackman's uh, monologue running through it. His narration. Ah, oh, the city streets. Ah, oh. it, it, it's very... Ah, oh, I'm a noir detective. Uh, but it really fails. Really fails. Because he's not a detective. He's a veteran. And he goes in people's minds. And he reads their memories. That's it. This whole... The, the, the story's quite strange, actually. When you start to piece it together, it's very convoluted. So Hugh Jackman plays an ex-army veteran that now somehow manages and works and has this machine that is the center of all sort of profit in fact like you know people come and use it for recreational use and um, the da uses it for depositions and memories and things like this and he's the only person that really knows how to operate it properly um so he, he works with that he, tandy newton works for him they live in a post-apocalyptic world. Not really. Sea levels have rose a bit. It's Miami. And a woman walks in one day asking to find her keys. And all oh, mystery. She goes missing. What's happened? Oh, rich versus the poor. And oh, adultery and affairs. And it's so goddamn convoluted. But not in a smart way. And it thinks it's smart. It really thinks it's smart. And you know what would have been smarter? Is if they had a lot of this being a memory. And they had a little bit of that at the start. Like, oh, it's a memory. What you just watched was a memory. Because she's gone missing, you know? Um, there's a lot of ways that this could have been smarter. But, I mean, ultimately, it, is, it just fails fundamentally. It's too bright to be this sort of noir film. This sort of detective noir film. Uh, it's too boring to be a noir film. Like, imagine Sin City, right? but brighter with colour and boring. It's two hours long. And a lot of people lambasted my demonic review because all I did was say that it was bad and it was boring. But boring and bad films are some of the worst to review because you don't care enough to really critique it, right? The cinematography on this film is actually really good. So Paul Cameron did a stand-up job. There's some fantastic and beautiful lens flares running through this. Not the horrible... J.J. Abrams kind, you know, actually just a, a catch of a glare from a, a well-placed light. It looks beautiful, you know, catching the silhouette of bodies. Very nicely done. But then they spoil it with having those bodies start to have sex, right? H Hubert Jackalman and Rebecca Ferguson. And then a very, very strange zoom-in shot on water spilling over a countertop. As if to imply... Some ejaculate. Um, can't believe I just said that in a reminiscence review. But it's it's bad. So they have good cinematography. And then they have those kind of things thrown in there. And I'm just like, what are you doing? And I don't mind sort of depressing films. You know, I don't mind a film that makes you question sort of things. And question the morality of people. But this whole film leads us down this path of following Hugh Jackman trying to find Rebecca Ferguson's May. Uh, because, you know, he loves her, but then he believes that she's a murderer and all this kind of nonsense. To then only find out, oh, no, well, this other stuff happened and oh, no. And, and then nothing really comes of it. And I'm like, that's not satisfying. 
You know, again, neither film has to be satisfying, but there's no satisfying message here either. So a good comparison would be The Green Knight, right? The Green Knight is a massive journey, but there's a sort of moralistic message within The Green Knight. There's a point to it. And although it's not a narratively satisfying ending, on a message front, it's very satisfying because there's a point to it. There is no point to this film other than making you feel a bit shit. It's a bad film. Music was alright. I'm amazed this got made. Uh, production companies are Film Nation Entertainment, Kilter Films, Michael DeLuca Productions. Th this is bad. It's not a good film. And it's a shame that this is one of the first... No, not one of the first, but, you know, yeah, I get, well, it, it's the start of Hugh Jackman's post-Wolverine career, I guess. Part of it, anyway. I know he's done other things. But it's part of it, and you need a better agent, mate. Because if they're passing you this, and you're agreeing to it, it's bad. Hugh Jackman was alright in this, but even he couldn't save it. You know, it's bad script. Uh, this little chap here... What was with his accent? Why did everyone have a shit accent? Everyone. Everyone had a bad accent. And I'm sure maybe some of them are their real accents. But god damn. Some of them were bad. And. I think. I think this would have been better as a series. As a novel. As a graphic novel. Anything but a film. Because the world building was really quite good. They're like, oh, there's a drug on the streets. You don't need to. Know, you just need to know its name, and we'll tell you the effects in passing. I like that. Perfect. Great. No exposition. Although there are massive exposition dumps in this film because of the memories, and you're like, oh, of course. Yeah, there we go. I've got to watch this crap, have I? Yeah, not good. Two hours long, painfully slow. Painfully slow. I mean, the credits start rolling about you know one hour forty eight. But painfully slow of a film. Cannot recommend this film. Would not recommend this film. I don't do ratings. But if I don't recommend a film. Then obviously it's not scoring very high. If you've seen it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I believe it is free on HBO Max at the moment. So let me know if you've seen it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here. Do hit subscribe. Because you stayed to the end of the video. So you must have enjoyed the review. Do hit that like button as well. Because again. You clearly enjoyed the video. If you want to step to date on more things that I do, please do check out my Instagram as well as my Twitter, at Mr. H Reviews. And that's about it, guys. Support the channel, become a member, become a patron. Cheers. Take care.